Hello, friends and fans! Welcome back to Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime! So, we are nearing the end game right now. We have exactly one world left to complete, which means this will, all things considered, likely be the last episode of the official Let's Play. But don't be sad, because there are plenty of bonus episodes that will come after this. So, we've got to go to the Flying Clotris to put a permanent end to the plob. Let's go. We got the last ten slimes hiding here. And. As the last world, it gets its own ominous music. So we got this nice little meadow and then a giant anchor. Which we can climb up, and it is the longest rope in the entire game. Actually, maybe not as long as the one on Call My Bluff, but we are now in the airship of the Flying Clotris. Friendly slime detected. Request liberation from this chest. It's another Robo Slime! Roboglop! Thank you for liberating me, Rocket. Time check, you must observe. An airborne rocket cart, highly advanced engineering. Maximum capacity, four objects, that is the same as other carts. Destination, Slamenia. Safety for slime travel, confirmed. I will verify. Requisition one cart and load me on it. So these are like the rail carts of the world. These little rocket carts here. You throw one on? Thank you, Rocket. Comply with the Prime Directive. Destroy the Plob. So it'll back up. And then launch off the edge. <laughs> and it looks like that guy's getting motion sickness. And then one flies right back. The Rocket Cart comes back automatically. Amazing! <laughs> I like Rocket just jumping for joy there. Alright, Lord Raleigh, I have... I don't remember the voice I gave him at all because it's been weeks since I've recorded this. I'm a very noble background, you see, so this is the first time I've written a letter. It's not as tedious as I always imagined. The common folk seem to have the right idea. Ah yes, I'm enclosing a gift that's been in my esteemed family for generations. It's a recipe for mirror shields! We need seven regular iron shields and three miracle swords. Those are incredibly costly to make, so I recommend just getting them from the piggy banks on uh, Mount Krakatrota. Roboglop. Purpose of letter, expression of gratitude, letter content, thank you, Rocket. Extra information, Roboglop is happy not to live entire life in a box. Ooh, thank you, Roboglop! Is it a slime? Is it a plane? No, it's a BS-2 Blue Streak missile. Those are great, they fly very fast and they deal like 50 damage if they hit the enemy tanks. So I got free wing teleporters right here, so that gives you an idea of how big the world is. It's a pretty long one. Automatic sliding doors, and we're going inside the fortress. So right off the bat we have these Jinxters. These are the same as the ones we saw on Fusifer's Necropolis. It's better... Uh, this is a better place to farm them than Fusifer's Necropolis as well. And a slime here! It's Curator! The machines up ahead look similar to those you'd find in a tank. I wonder what would happen if you destroyed them. You should give it a try. I will, but first I've got to put you guys back to town. And just like that, Curator sent me a letter. Thank you for rescuing me, Rocket. I'm the biggest bookworm in town, you know. Do come and visit me when you're next back. I'll be in amongst all my books somewhere. Ooh! Shock tactics will earn thunderous applause. You land yourself a lightning staff. Oh, I love all those puns. They're great. Yeah, so you've got these computers here. And at the end, a door that's blocking our way. If we just elastoblast into all the computers, though, we will destroy them. And that damages the door. If we destroy all of them, it'll blow up the door entirely. This is another type of enemy here. This is a golem. Golems need a platypunk inside them in order to act as enemies. If there's nothing inside them, you can jump in yourself. You find a memo in the cockpit. It's an explanation of the controls. A button, get out of the golem. B button, punch. So we are now in a golem who is kind of beaten up right now. So we can press A to get out. We can also press B to do a giant moving punch. You can also press the Y button to bang your fists together. So this is a pretty good battle tank. You can punch enemies. Pretty simple. It also makes destroying the computers even easier than before. Yeah. 
Yeah! The problem is you can't actually pick enemies up and throw them on the cart in the golem, so you're going to have to... Yeah, get out of it in order to do that. Oh wow, that one jinxter killed the other one. I didn't want to kill them. I wanted to bring them back to town. Oh well. Let's keep inside the golem, because there are some things you can't destroy unless you're in the golem. For one, these spikes. You can just walk over them as a golem, and you'll destroy them. However, if you're a slime, you're going to take damage if you walk into these. It's another golem. Yeah, <laughs> found ya. You ain't going to stand a chance against this golem, kiddo. I'm going to enjoy this. So the enemies are actually very competent when they're in golems. They do tend to do the clapping fists like that, followed by the rocket punch. And it's very easy to get stun-locked by them. So that's actually bad. However, Elastoblasting into the golems are easy. Uh-oh! I gotta get out of here! That goofball's gonna get my golem if I ain't careful! So yeah, every enemy golem that's moving around has a platypunk inside it. That's also the only way to get platypunks in this world. You have to beat up a golem and, uh, to get them out of the golem, and that's the only way you can actually pick, find a platypunk in this world. Let's throw them all back to town. So golems have roughly 6 HP, 3 to get the guy out of the golem, and then another 3 to blow it up. So in order to navigate the spikes as a slime, we're going to have to do some jump hovers. So yeah, they're actually really easy to destroy if you're a slime, but when you're in a golem, they're actually a lot harder to do so. So there are these crates here. You, ha you have to be in a golem if you want to destroy them. So you actually do need the golems in order to solve several puzzles in this uh, world. And we're already at sunset. Holy cow. Ooh, nice diagonal punch. I forgot you could actually do that. I like destroying all of the crates. <laughs> Take that, you doofus. And we have Chimera Wings here. So here's an interesting thing. You might be wondering, what should I do with Golems? Because... Obviously, Golems count as their own enemies, so if you want them back in town, you have to throw a Chimera Wing on them. However, if you destroy a Golem, it has a small chance of, uh, of leaving behind an uh, item bag. The, items te the item bags tend to contain gold bars. So if you want gold bars, destroying golems is actually the best way of going about doing that. Actually, I don't know why I did that. There's a wing here that creates a shortcut back to the beginning. So since there are no other chimera wings around here, let's destroy this golem. I also love the sound effect of them going, holy smokes. So yeah, okay, four Elastoblasts will knock the Platypunk out of the Golem, and then another three will flat out destroy the Golem. They don't always leave behind item bags, keep in mind. Oh boy, it's Clarence. Meet Dink attacking restless armor from front, no good. Big shield blocks all attacks. Unga, I'll fight them. If me, I wait for chance. Then attack from behind or side with claws. You know claws. Must use body instead. Unga. So that introduces the next new enemy, the Restless Armor. These guys are basically Duck Knights. And they can be tricky to get rid of. And also, final seed of life in the game. Our HP is now maxed out. 
Woo! So these guys will pull out their swords and then do a dash into you. You can't attack them front on because of their shields. However, if you wait for them to be holding their sword, you can. So that's cool. So giant door here, we gotta destroy a lot of computers. Yeah. So that didn't work. I, you have to wait for them to actually be brandishing their swords in order to destroy them. Alright, it's a letter from Clarence. Vain slime's ashamed to be caught by Plob. Me train hard now. Next time, me be hero. Unga, Clarence payback good. Oh, hey! You'll have to mix it up to make it matter. You take a devil's tail. Also, if you kill, if you destroy restless armors, they will always drop a steel broadsword upon their defeat. I say always, but the one time they will not do that is if they drop an item bag behind instead. But even then, the item bags tend to contain steel broadswords. So not only can you get valuable monsters by dis uh, bringing them back to town, you can also get good items by bringing them back to town as well. And I like how they can destroy the computers as well. <laughs> Ouch. They also, because they're wearing armor, they don't bounce as much as some of the other enemies. So I'm getting a lot of steel broadswords. So if you ever need steel broadswords, just destroy the restless armors here. And up ahead is going to be our first tank battle. The door is shut. If we want to open the door, we have to defeat this guy. It's Arm Arnie. <laughs> Welcome to the mighty flying Clotris, Rocket. Your bravery, is, your bravery is admirable. I am Arm Arnie of the Plob Enforcers. You must defeat me if you wish to face the Master. I, of course, you, if, of course, you are able. So this is, guy is actually a pretty tough tank battle. One of the few that is actually legitimately challenging. You will quiver at the Argonaut's mighty arsenal of missiles. He has free living statues. It's the Shuiman Tank Hero of Slomenia versus the Argonaut. Mostly charmless. This is a lot like the T-Rex in that it has the axe that it can knock, use to knock your ammo out of the sky. However, we have more than four. We have 400 HP more than it. So we want the Cacti Ball to fire like crazy. We want the Walking Corpse to fire like crazy. And we want the Wordle to fire itself the enemy. That is good. Ooh, yeah. Meteor. There's ammo right there. Cacti Ball. Wordles know how to hurdle. Well, they're taking a while to start throwing their ammo out. My Meteor! So this is the point of the game where the enemies start to have really good ammo. As you can see, they're throwing level 3 missiles at us. As well as Buster Swords. Fortunately, we have mirror shields that can reflect their amazing ammo back. Fire what you will, my axe will knock it out of the air. Thankfully, his axe has to charge up before he can do that. Stop brushing yourself. Well, my Wordle's defeated. That didn't last long, now did it? Look at all those shields, holy cow. He ain't messing around. Thankfully, my spooklier bombs can pass right through them. Ooh, more Oracle. Ouch! They must have thrown something insanely powerful at me to deal 100 damage. That must have been a level 3 missile. Ugh. Still, we're dealing massive chunks of damage to them, which is nice.
Ooh, mirror shields. Yes, please. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Cacti Ball! <laughs> Your skill is impressive, but I will not fall. Oh, you will, though, Arm Arnie. The fact that he can knock your ammo out of the air with his axe makes the battle quite challenging, as well as the fact that he has really powerful ammo in his tank. But I've got a good crew, so I am not worried. Wow. At this point, I'm going to infiltrate their tank. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure my health scythe is going to finish them off. Oh, really? I thought that would hit the steel broadsword, not me. That's alright. They are finished. Am I to be invaded? Yes, you are. What the heck? They're... Oh, never mind. I'm like, their living statues can carry way more than mine can! But no, that was Arm Arnie behind a living statue. Alright, it's the lower one. Well, never mind. That wasn't that hard. This one gave me a lot of trouble on my first playthrough. Then again, I didn't know all the secrets to getting all the best stuff, though. We win the round, and we get a level 3 Iron Ball! It's Bouncer. Thank you, Rocket. It was too high for me. What am I talking about? Jumping over... The tank, of course. That level 3 Iron Ball is called the Destructo Ball, and that is the only Destructo Ball you get in the entire game. You cannot get more than that. Incredible. Now I have witnessed the might of a true warrior. I like Armarni. He's a guy with uh, honor. And now the door opens for us. Lovely. Dear Rocket, thanks for letting me out. I came first in a jumping competition the other day. Yippee! Pretty cool, don't you think? Here, you can have the prize I won. We get special medicine recipe! You receive a recipe for special medicine. Three strong medicines and nine goddess statues. You're gonna need a lot of goddess statues if you want to make that. And unfortunately, if you want 100% the game, you do have to make that. Hi, Jinxters! very refreshing to be able to attack the guys while they're in the midst of teleporting. <laughs> Unlike in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, you're all going back to town. All of you. There we go. Might as well take as many of these guys back to town as possible. That'll limit the amount of grinding I have to do in the bonus episodes. Ooh! Flan Spinal! So you've come to rescue me, boy Oh, i have almost given up hope. If what those plob folks said is anything to go by, you're about halfway to the boss's place. You'd be careful now, won't you, boyo? I'll be crossing my fingers for you. You don't have fingers. Ooh! Get into position! That doity flute warrior rat's gonna be here any minute! This is the final enemy we're encountering in the game. Killing machines. Holy smoke! He's here already! Killing machines! One of you had better get him good! Don't let that blue bulb get away! You think you're really something, huh, Rocket? Then get out of this one, pal! My boy's got his orders! He ain't gonna let you leave this room! You wanna come after me? 
then you gotta have to beat him foist. So now we get trapped in this room with a killing machine. We've got to kill it. Target acquired. Attack. So I'll get born to the killing machine after this. I'm ever so sorry, boyo. I always thought you were nothing but a little ruffian. It's nice to see you turn over a new leaf. Don't you go back to your old ways, eh? Wow, another one. Keep intruders at bay the quick fire way. It's a very versatile Vulcan gun. We haven't even used those yet. So the killing machine has a ton of HP, but he's not very good at killing you. His attacks are slow. Beep, 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 beep. Engage power mode. So after you hit it once, it'll then kind of go berserk and it can rocket around. And it has a laser. But it's still not very good at killing you. The only thing this guy has going for it is he has a more HP than any other enemy. So after we defeat the killing machine, the door is open again. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Rocket. Oh, boy! And it looks like we're on for to the second tank battle. The ill-fated Rocket, I presume. Well met. Rusty of the Plob Enforcers. I serve as the Plob Father's Master Guardsman. I demand a duel if you desire an audience. My tank, Swords, knows no flaw, as a metal keen sword knows no rust. Schliemann Tank, the hero of Slovenia versus DQ Swords. The revolution is coming! Wee! So, I want to say this tank is amazing. When this game came out, the Wii was still in development. This was actually referencing the Wii, because the Wii, during its, uh, while it was being built, it was known as basically Project Revolution. So the Revolution is Coming Wii is essentially referencing the Nintendo Wii coming out, and the DQ Sword stands for Dragon Quest Swords. It's an upgraded version of the Fortnite. Battle Stations! Fire at will! Concede, you cannot defeat my mighty swords. So his tank is really not that great. It has no special gimmicks. In fact, its special gimmick is it's kind of worse than other tanks because its engine room only has about three ba uh, barricades in its way. And also only one computer for each conveyor belt. So you have to destroy less. Um... Hi. Um, hi. You two got in my way. He also has killing machines in his tank. But the killing machines are not that bad. The enemy's inside! Help! I'll get there when I get there. Well, I must say, he does have a little more HP than the last guy. Hey, how dare you! Goodbye. Here, Wordle, thanks for your help. You can go back to shooting yourself out of the cannon now. Alright, I don't want to fr- Whoa, hi! Didn't expect to see you guys. Alright. Okay, Cacti Ball, sure, you can do that. And when you get to the enemy's tank, target their commander. Ay, caramba! It has been a hit! Alright, then go back to fire like crazy, I suppose. Behold, my swords are peerless. I don't think so. Oh, I don't want those level 3 iron balls to hit. They take so long to hit, but they're some of the most powerful pieces of ammo in the game. Deal 110 damage. And that's a Metal Keen shield that they're firing at us. It's the toughest shield in the game. It takes 5 pieces of ammo to bring it down. So really, unless you have a mirror shield, I'd say it's best to just ignore it. Mm. 
Also, those giant metal swords they're firing at us are the, are called Metal King Swords. They deal 80 damage apiece. Not fun. I prefer... Well, I don't prefer, but... I'm fine using the Buster Swords. Wow, we have a lot of medicine in our tank. Holy cow. This is actually a pretty vicious tank battle. We're knocking each other's ammo out of the air really easily. <laughs> My khaki ball's just brushing his bristles. That's the one bad thing about Firelight Crazy Guys. You can never tell which cannon they're gonna fire out of. I shall not yield, even to the Schleeman tank. Alright, now I'm going to break into their tank. Oh, thank you! Dude. So this is great if you can just have the killing machines focus on killing you as opposed to throwing ammo out of the tank. You're in a pretty good spot to just let your <laughs> just let your partners do stuff. This looks good. This coming onslaught will leave them with very little HP. Eighteen HP. Oh, what the heck? What are the odds that the piece of ammo would fall out of that cannon? Cool. What? My mighty swords defeated? Now we'll all rot together. Yeah. Terrible engine room. <laughs> Only three barriers this late in the game. What do we get? We get a golden arrow. Nice. It's this... <laughs> This Count Viscus. Do you know what it means to go at something hammer and tongs? It's what you do, Rocket, when you put all your energy into your tank battles. My, my infallible blades! What guile is this? This is the end. Woo! Five slimes to go. Do you know what a paladin is, Rocket? It's a brave hero who fights for a cause, so I suppose we could call you that now. I'm most grateful to you for rescuing me. I'd like you to have this as a token of my thanks. It's a recipe for Oracolcum. It requires a gold bar and free fire waters. So if you want Oracolcum, you probably are going to have to kill some golems. And also, we got a slime knight here. That's nice. Because this room has a lot of computers to destroy.
But I'd rather take these guys home. And hey, killing machines! We can actually pick them up and take them back to our uh, Slovenia now. <laughs> They'll still be killing machines, but the way our killing machines, so it's okay. <laughs> That's how that works, right? Full HP if you need it. Ouch! That's not very nice. That's still not all the computers in the room, though. There's still more. Also, killing machines are one of the easiest enemies to get uh, in your tank because of just how plentiful they are at this point in the Flying Clotris. Alright, these should be the last computers. Yep. <laughs> and the next warp point. We still got a bit of the fortress left, though. Like I said, it's a fairly large world. Ouch. Oh, we don't need the Chimera Wayne. There's the golem. Wow, Jinkster, thanks for beating up the golem a little bit for us. So we have to go to the right if we want to go farther in the fortress. However, if we go down here, there's a slime waiting for us. It's Slyborg! Slyborg needs nutrition of burger in bun. Send Slyborg home on flying cart. Oh, you want a hamburger? Alright, whatever. Go have fun at five, guys. Slyborg is finally back in Boinberg. There is no place like home. Thank you for assisting me. Let us digest burger in bun together. Oh, he's giving me an iron shield. It's a, it's a little, little late in the game for one of those, Slyborg. Let's send these golems back. Also, I believe if you if it's a golem being controlled by a platy punk and you use a chimera wing on it... I want to say it brings the Potty Punk back as well as the Golem, but I'm not entirely sure. I've heard much about you, Rocket. They say you're a most accomplished warrior. I am Hollow Kitty of the Palabin Forces. I warn you, I'm not as tame as the others. On guard. A word of warning, my Kaboomite wrecks havoc over a wide area. Keep your wits about you, and don't disappoint me. I have high expectations. Schleeman Tank versus the Demolition Man. Better the devil you mow. So this is like an improved version of the Enforker, which you may remember from Call My Bluff. The gimmick behind the Enforker was that it gave uh, it had a special conveyor belt just for lightning staffs. This guy's gimmick is he has a special conveyor belt just for Kaboomite. Or Kaboomamite. Kaboomamite is arguably the most powerful piece of ammo in the entire game. Because if it hits your tank, it's inflicting massive amounts of damage. Like, it'll deal roughly 20 to 48 dam uh, HP worth of damage, but it'll do that like 20 times. It'll just be... And if, it, if you hit it with a piece of ammo in midair, then it will explode and any ammo that comes near it will be instantly destroyed out of the sky. So Kaboomite is a very powerful piece of ammo. Also, after you pick it up, it will start a countdown of 9, 8, 7, 6, 
And if it reaches zero while it's in your hands, it will blow up. Very good, very interesting piece of ammo. So if you want, if you destroy the computers around the special conveyor belt, it will no longer make Kaboomite. Which I believe cuts off this guy's entire supply, because I believe that's the only place that he gets Kaboomite from. Oh yes, the Metal King Sword's getting reflected back at them. Dog on it. This guy's a bit more HP, but not by much. I like the edged boomerang. It's a pretty good defensive piece of ammo. Man, my world's just getting knocked the stuffing knocked out of him. So there's a killing machine in my tank. It was only a matter of time before that happened. Oh, well, that's one less enemy. Oh, wow. Dane! Good job, walking corpse. Wow, I don't know what's happening in their tank, but they're not really sending much ammo coming our way. Uh-oh. Oh yes, the meteor got reflected back at their tank. You're quite a fighter, sir. Yeah, I am. I'm sorry, Cacti Ball, I don't mean to keep doing this to you. Thus far, we haven't seen their Kaboom might yet. I'm wondering if they destroyed their own conveyor belts. Alright, they're on their last legs, so... You are quite incorrigible, sir. Sire. The enemy, they only got their engine now. Hi guys, what's up? So this is the special conveyor belt that gives them Kaboomite. Curses, the Kaboomite will not come forth. Unforgivable, you shall regret this, sire. Oh, will I? Well, thus far, these tank battles are not that hard. We won the round, and we get Kaboomamite as a reward. Thank you. And it's Flopsy! <laughs> Thank you, young rocket. I can't stand all these big tanks. But I'm alright. Oh yes, there's life in this old dog yet. Flopsy the red dog. Surely none can match my skill? Humph. <laughs> Victory is yours. So I've defeated all three of the main red knights. Alright, Flopsy. 
Haven't you grown, Rocket? It seems only yesterday that you were a baby slime. It's wonderful to see you growing up into such a fine young lad. Now then, I'm sending you to a special recipe of mine. I hope it comes in useful. It's a recipe for Kaboomamite. It requires two Vulcan shells and three BS1 cruises. Quite expensive. And that's the last teleporter. You don't ever give up, do you, slime ball? Maybe I ain't made myself clear. Take a hike, pal! Look at all those killing machines. I don't care how tough you are, kiddo. No one can beat this many goons. So on, slime ball. Let me know when you're finished cleaning up, huh? Hehe. <laughs> So, this target acquired, engage formation attack mode. So despite how intimidating this looks, this is actually one of the best parts of the game, because this gives us a massive supply of killing machines to bring back to town with us. There are ten killing machines in that room. We can bring nine back, and then by the time we come back, the first free will have respawned, so we can literally just keep bringing back more and more killing machines. Until they're all destroyed, you won't be able to open the door. But I don't care. I already have 11 of them. So yeah, quick and easy way to just rocket up to 10 killing or er, uh, 30 killing machines. And also, the killing machine is a pretty darn good crew member, so... I can actually really help. And just like that, we have 30 killing machines back in town. And it didn't even take that long. So now what we have to do is... We have to just destroy the remaining killing machines in this room. They all have a lot of HP. But that's alright. Also, if these guys drop item bags, they tend to have really good items inside of them. Which is amazing. And they're all done. So the gate opens. I'm gonna... Ooh! Two item bags. That's excellent. Now here's the thing. This is gonna be a long episode. And I don't think I want to fight the final boss. Uh, in this episode. Because that'll drag it out to like a two hour episode. So I'm gonna launch back to town. We can explore the new slimes we got, and then we'll spend the next episode finishing up the game. So we saved eight slimes. There are two left. So we found the treasure chests, the Chimera Wains, the Steel Broadswords, and the Slime Knights, as well as the Platy Punks, the Killing Machines, the Golems, the Restless Armors, and the Jinxters. So the two ones that the Killing Machines dropped, one had a PS2 boost streak, the other had Vulcan Bullets. So these guys roughly have a 50% chance of dropping uh, PS2 boost streaks, Roughly a 30% chance of dropping Vulcan Bullets, and a roughly 20% chance of dropping Vulcan Shells. So yeah, really good items that they drop. <laughs> Woohoo! Back in town. With all the boys. So this is where the guys are going to start hanging out in the library. What do you want? Wild Fang don't like make friends. But Wild Fang happy you rescued him. Thank you. Pamby saw toy slime in shop. Pamby want! Pamby swapped ten toy slimes for something really, really good. Okay, I don't have that. Oh, but Pamby really wants toy slimes. Well, you don't always get what you want. Studying is quite a passion of mine. I could teach you bug bugs of stuff. I've got something I'd like to ask you. You see, I'm trying to get all these books in order. I can't tell you why, but I need 20 catnips and 20 medicinal herbs to do it. Do you have these items? If so, you couldn't possibly let me have them, could you? Please? Yes. Oh dear, you haven't got enough, I'm afraid. Shall I tell you what I need again? Oh, okay. So that's why I was grinding on all the catnips in the Tomb of Tutankhamen.
Tidying the books here is a never-ending job. Ah, it's a dog's life. If only people would put them back properly when they finished with them. Fine slimes no like be beaten. Ugga ga ga! Clarence no more better than Rocket. Hello, boyo. Good to see you. Well, as usual. Keep the noise down around here, though, eh? Internal digestion, organ broken, unable to eat burger and bun. Need 20 steel broadswords to repair digestive system. You will be rewarded if you collect them for me. Will you assist? I don't have that many. Must consume burger and bun. Burger and bun. Burger, burger, burger. Yeah, that, that guy's weird. Holy cow, I forgot how weird these guys are. Oh, a letter. You find a test paper of Hoolies marked 0%. You pretend you didn't see it. <laughs> oh, it's the little fiends, I tell you. Hey, Restless Armor, I want to talk to you. It's like he's avoiding me for some reason. Good day, sire. I feel strangely calm here in the peace and quiet clank. That's good. Reading is a much-loved pastime of the aristocracy. You should give it a try. I could tell you how to use frizz. No, I couldn't. It's a secret. I can fly over a bookshelf with one jump, you know. Amazing, isn't it? Action. Climbed ladder because looked fun. Result. Scolded for climbing ladder. Memo. Do not climb ladder again. Let's check out the museum. At least one person's in the museum. And it's you, killing machine. Beep beep. Rocket in range. Hostile. Negative. Ally. Confirmed. Rocket is an ally. Protect allies. Entering sleep mode until orders received. I like how they have four legs. It actually works really well with their design, and I really like their design, holy cow. They're cyborgs with swords, they're like robo-pirates. Oh, someone's made a real dog's dinner of this chimney. It's chock-a-block with soot. I wish there was someone who'd clear it out for me. Oh, that's a that's a mission you can do, actually. So you see this house? There's a chimney. You can actually jump in the chimney. And there's soot in there. And you can you uh, if you touch the soot, you clear it out. If you clear out all the soot, you actually do get a reward. So as you can see, every time we enter the chimney, it's getting less and less dirty. I'm delighted is to see you, Rocket. It's lovely weather for it, too. Too much sunshine's no good for the skin, you know. Only three things left. Problem is, it changes into different positions every time you enter it. Oh, thank you. The chimney's completely clear now. Here's a little present from me for all your hard work. Take it. We get a recipe for holy crystals. As a, I'm proud as a pup with a new collar. There aren't many houses in town that have had their chimneys swept by a hero. It's true, because this is like the only house that's had a chimney that I can enter. I am a guard. I am guarding the town. Thank you. It seems to be staring at you. Well, that's a little disconcerting, isn't it? Let's buy some stuff from the shop, shall we? 
Alright, how many medicinal herbs do I have? I have zero, and they cost a hundred. I need twenty of them, which means that's gonna cost two thousand. Don't have that. How about toy slimes? I have one, they cost two hundred. I need ten. They also cost too much. Talk on it. Man, you're a cheapskate, Rocket. You buy my canvas for 500 gold coins. It is wonderful picture for you. Sure. We get a new canvas. Thank you. I looked at the Schliemann and I thought, oh my, that thing must be driven by a hell of a guy. And I think I've... No, I haven't. I've talked to nobody in here. Oh, Rocket, are you eating enough? You need to keep up your strength. Did you read my letter, Master? I lost my temper a bit when I wrote it. Yay, you came to see me, Rocket! There isn't much to do here, but stick around. You'll have to tell me about your adventures one day. I'll rinse my ears out specially. Claudia, you're very strong, Unga. Other girls know like Claudia. And Claudia know like weak boys. But you different, Rocket. Okay, um... I'm taken. Alright, let's go change our ammo and our crew, and then save and quit. Kaboomite? Heck yeah. Destructo Ball deals 110 damage. I don't like the slow-moving ammo, but I'm... <laughs> you'd be a fool to not put that in your tank, am I right? <laughs> and at this point, we have some really powerful ammo in our tank now. That's why I'm very excited. That'll help us for the final boss. Alright, crew. Cacti Ball, you spend too much time brushing your hair. I'm gonna put Blubba back in my tank, and I'm gonna put Killing Machine in the tank as well. Killing Machine can use the upper cannon and target the commander, similar to Baron Blubba. I believe he can also carry free fiends on his head, and he's faster than Baron Blubba, so he's just basically a better version of Baron Blubba. And that's gonna do it for this episode of Rocket Slime. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And if you tune in next time, we will be finishing up the Flying Quatress. We have two tank battles left. But they are two doozies of tank battles, and then we've got the credits, and just the end game in general. So, look forward to that, and then to the bonus episodes after that. And thank you so much again, once more, for watching, my friends. And, until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless you, my slime.